You just got your computer back. Let's get you set up. We've put together seven steps to get you up and running. Step one, connect to campus Wi-Fi. To log in for the first time, you're gonna need to be connected to BYOD or FUSD. BYOD is preferred. Step two, log into Windows. Your username is going to be the first part of your email. Your password hasn't changed. Once you're in, you might see these error messages. These can be safely ignored. Also, ignore this activate Windows watermark. It should go away. Step three, sign into Outlook. On the bottom left corner, hit the Windows icon and type in Outlook. Once that's up, just put in your information, uncheck this box, and click Done. If you want to have Outlook on your phone, download Microsoft Outlook from the App Store or Play Store. Once it's open, we're going to right click on the Outlook icon and click Pin to Taskbar. While we're at it, let's right click on the edge icon and select unpin from taskbar. Now we can close Outlook. Step four, sign into Chrome. Double click the Chrome icon and hit the profile button on the top right. From there, we'll turn on sync. Put in the full email address and password you use to sign into Windows. From here, you're going to want to link data and choose Yes, I'm in. Now we can close Chrome. Step 5. Change default apps. Once again, we're going to hit the Windows icon and type in Default. Once that's up, we're going to change our default mail app to Outlook. Then we'll scroll down and change our default web browser to Google Chrome. Next, we'll go to Choose Default Apps by File Type and wait for it to load. From here, we're going to scroll down until we find a .pdf option. Now we'll change the default PDF reader from Microsoft Edge to Adobe Acrobat. Step six, set up OneDrive. On the bottom right, we're gonna hit the little arrow icon to reveal the OneDrive icon. Click on that, and then we'll choose set up OneDrive. From here, just press okay. Your files should start downloading. If your OneDrive looks like this, asking you to sign in, the process is a little different. Just put in your email address, hit sign in, Go back to OneDrive, open Settings, go to the Settings tab, and uncheck Files on Demand. This will keep your files stored locally. While we're at it, let's go back into the system tray to make sure you have the new Umbrella security client. If you don't see this icon, contact a tech as soon as possible to get this issue resolved. Step 7. Update Group Policies. Once again, we're going to hit the Windows key and type in GP update space forward slash force. After that, just click where it says run command. A window will open and it will start updating your policies. 
Once it's finished, just press Y and then enter. It'll sign you out. Just sign back in and you're done.